welcome welcome back to my youtube channel this is info hub if you're a returning subscriber i just want to tell you thank you for the love well if this is your first time coming across my youtube channel i still want to tell you thank you i bring in information that can help you move abroad to study work and even settle so if these are the kind of informations you like and you're looking for then please and please do well to click the red subscribe button to join the growing family i'll be very happy if you turn the notification bell on so when i release new videos like these you may just be the first to be notified so around august last year the canadian or the alberta province they released a program called the alberta is calling um, recruitment program now it, it's very very simple when you hear the program or the words of the program alberta is calling it means they are calling for foreign workers now if you are on a visitor's visa in canada and you're looking for a way to remain in canada you can definitely try this out you do not need lmia you do not need too much education, just your high school is very, very okay. And if you're also in the express entry pool and you're looking to boost your points by getting a job offer, then this is also for you. Then what about the folks that are living outside Canada, maybe in Nigeria, in India, and all over the world? This is especially for you. You can apply to jobs in Alberta and enter this very fine rural um, um, stream. So Alberta is calling for all of you to come in and join. So this information is for everyone. There is no age limit. There is no LMI. Even though you have, you do not have BSc with your high school, you can be able to apply. So let's just get over to the website to see more. So this is the website um, where you can see everything about the rural renewal stream. You can see rural renewal stream community designation communities with the capacity to attract recruit and welcome newcomers can apply to participate in this stream so i wouldn't want to waste your time let's just look at the overview and uh, community de um, designation and maybe how to apply so for the overview it says the rural renewal stream addresses current labor needs and skill shortages in rural alberta communities and helps newcomers settle in into the community this stream requires a community to apply to the government of alberta for community designation so this stream is community driven once des designated the community then works with employers to attract recruit and retain newcomers by sharing information on settlement supports. This may include accommodation, education, healthcare, and services such as language training. A candidate must be selected and endorsed by a designated community and meet all criteria for the rural renewal stream. Do not apply to the province of Alberta if you do not have an endorsement of candidate letter from a designated community. So maybe we can say that is like, do not apply for this stream if you have not gotten a job offer yet. So let us see some of these designated communities in Alberta that have been choosing to say, okay, you are allowed to work with the employers in the community to attract uh, and recruit workers from abroad. We can see the city of Brooks, um, the designation date is May 13th, 2022. City of Grand um, Prairie, sorry, July 6, 2022. We can see Town of White Court, July 28th, 2022. So you can see all of them. I think they're about 22 in number. This was the date they were designated. You can see some of them were designated recently. You can see January 13th, 2023. February 13th, 2023. March 10th. If you scroll down, I think there are some that was only designated, yeah, July, uh, sorry, June, June 14, 2023, the town of Peace River and also the town of Sylvan Lake. So these are the um, designated communities. So what makes these communities or why do they designate this community? Why do this community need workers? You can see it here, community designation. It said interested communities fill out a community designation application form. Additional points will be awarded for communities with less than 10,000 residents. Now, once a community is designated, 
they'll be able to attract recruits and retain newcomers using this stream so you can see an application will only be evaluated if all of the mandatory requirements below are met as rural communities with a population of less than 100,000 and all of those so these are for the communities to use we we don't really care about this since we already know all the communities that have been endorsed now let's see how to apply now before you apply communities must have the capacity to attract recruits and welcome um, newcomers which means you must apply to a designated um, community or a designated village if that community is not part of the 22 we just so then you cannot be able to apply for this rural renewal stream so a rural renewal stream candidate is a foreign national who does not have permanent residence or canadian citizenship he says this person could be living in or outside of canada so you can see that instead of read this you can read that um, pdf i'll drop the link down in the description box below so you can know everything these are the committee requirements we do not need that we have already seen our own requirements so you do not really care about all of this for now all you need to do is to search for a job let us see now this is everything you can submit the application after you have submitted and all of that but you do not need all of this once you've gotten your job offer you will work with your employer to do all of this now let's see if we can see more any more information that will be useful okay so all of these are just after you've gotten your your job offer yes after you've gotten your, your, your job offer yes is after receiving designation the designated committee is partnership with their local economic development organization and participating employers are responsible for recruiting foreign nationals candidates may be recruited from within alberta within canada or outside of canada so in the description box below i'll be leaving more than five links for you to get thousands of jobs that are specifically for Alberta. Now, a lot of people have been complaining about Job Bank and all of them. Do not go to Job Bank to search for these jobs because Job Bank, they have jobs all over Canada. But this Alberta um, um, rural stream and all of that, they have specific employers that have been given the right to recruit. And I'll be leaving it down in the description box for you to search for those employers. You do not need too much requirements and all of that to be able to get that. So this is the brief description of the website. I'll also leave this website down in the description box so you can read more about it. So that is everything you need to know about applying for this rural stream. But like I said earlier, the most important thing is getting a job offer. So how can you stand a chance? Of getting this job offer well most things people do is to create their cv before checking out the job description but no what you have to do is to tailor your cv after checking the job description so i will leave down like i said earlier i will leave down in the description box below many links to jobs specifically for alberta specifically for this stream now when you bring out your cv Check out the jobs first, then fit your CV to that job description. If you find this video helpful, please and please smash the like button so YouTube can recommend this video to others and they can benefit just as you have benefited also. Click the red subscribe button to join the growing family and turn on the notification bell so when I release new videos like these, you may just be the first to be notified.